the first part of this video is uh, dedicated to my friend Kathy Grant who asked what the hell the pink thing was in the background this is the pink thing that is in the background nothing dodgy he says but here it is uh, shall we carry on with the video I don't even know how to use it I've had it for years roll camera So hello and welcome to day three. I've got a different t-shirt on. This is a Matt Bridger. It's a effing hand pay t-shirt. And in the background, uh, Cathy Grant uh, noticed last time is the weird pink emu puppet thing. Uh, yeah, I've turned it around now so it looks far less dodgy. So um, yeah, let's get straight on to it and get the advent calendar. So, so far the cheesies were two for two. I've enjoyed them both. Found it. Forgot the joke. I made a joke about cheese. Let's just say it didn't age well. Should have left it over there. Right, I have got cheddar cheese. Do, 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 do. Oh well, it's cheddar. It's going to taste of cheddar. Is it mild, mature, extra mature, vintage? I don't know. It's going to be cheese. It's going to be cheddar cheese. <sighs> Smells of cheddar cheese. John there being all sake, because it's just a cheese. It's a nice one. It's um, softer and squidgier than I expected. I was a bit worried because it might be like super mild, which I hate. But um, no, it's got a good tang to it. Still a bit creamy, so I know Jane won't really like that. Um, it's got a bit of a bite to it. Um, I'm actually salivating, which is quite disgusting. You don't want to see that on camera. It's a nice one, I've got to say. Um, the company that I've made this advent calendar have done some decent cheeses already. Um, Ilchester. Yep, Ilchester. Thanks, Ilchester. You make some good cheeses. I have another bite and then move on to the beer. Mm. Another nice beer. Another nice beer. Cheese. Let's hope this is another nice beer though. I'm a bit sceptical about this one. It's not an IPA. It's not a weird flavoured one. It's called uh, Luna Lager for whatever reason. Pretty looking can. Uh, 4.6% so it's the weakest of the ones I've tried so far. I'm not a massive fan of lagers. I like Coors Light. I like my bud. I hate Carlin. Um, yeah, let's give it a go. And funnily enough, Coors Light glass. Do you know, sometimes smelling these, I don't know if you all remember, but when you used to go to the pub in the old days, with your dad, because obviously you said you kid and you couldn't drink, but the pubs absolutely smelt of beer all the while. All you could smell was the hops. So I just always remember it. It's totally synonymous. The smell of beer in these um, old man's pubs. 
which uh, I really like better than these trendy ones uh, right so it's quite dark it smells like lager because it is lager <sighs> can't be as bad as Carlin nothing can be as bad as Carlin It's okay, but this is the problem I have with lagers. It's just a bit wishy-washy. Um, I suppose you could have some lemonade and make yourself a shandy. I'll finish it because you know I will. That's just the way I am. It's a lager. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what else to say really, that's kind of made the video really short. Do you know what, if you like bigger to Vegas and like your craft beers, go to Bangor Brewing on uh, Fremont Street. It's not too far from Heart Attack Grill so you can't miss it. They used to do free tours um, of the area where they do all the uh, making of the beer. Now you've got to pay, but it is really worth it. Uh, I don't know if they still do what they used to, where at the end you get a sampler of about eight different third of a pint. Um, Really nice range of beers, well, ales. I really enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I recommend doing that. But for now, nice cheese. Kind of expected a disappointing lager. It's not horrible. It's not amazing. So uh, let's hope uh, day four might be a little bit more interesting on the uh, ale front. But for now, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. And try a bit. Oh, really quickly yet again. Um, I did what I did last time. I tried some cheese straight after I tried the lager. The cheese couldn't save the lager, I'm afraid. Not like last time. Try a bit.